Well, um, <laughs> I'm sitting in a jumper in like the middle of summer. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so nervous to film this video. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so just bear with me if this is a long video. However, I felt that I needed to film a video just to talk about a big change in my life and obviously a big change on my channel. Let's just try and keep everything really positive because this is a really hard video for me to film. A lot of people I've spoken to over the last couple months about it know about it, but like obviously I haven't put, like I haven't addressed it in a video. This is just a really, really long-winded introduction. As you guys can see from the title of this video, I have made the decision to leave musical theatre training and I will be attending a different course at a different university. I have decided that it is time for me to move on from theatre and performing and I've kind of decided that the best thing for me is to do something else. I should have written notes. Why didn't I write notes? Because then I would have known what to say. I guess you should kind of start at the beginning. So, I've done performing for so many years, it's been a huge part of my life. I never identified it as something that was part of me, I always identified it as who I was. So, it was a huge part of who I was and a huge part of like my identity and everything like that. I was so excited when I found out that I had gotten into a drama school. Um, first year round, I think I wasn't expecting it at all, I think I was expecting to take a year out. But I was like, you know, I've gotten in, it's going to be amazing, let's kind of see what comes of it and yeah, how it goes because obviously, you know, you don't know unless you try. And part of me was really, really anxious the summer before leaving and I never really figured out why. I kind of figured out why but kind of not. It's hard for me to explain but I was in a state where I was so anxious about the thought of going and I had that feeling of like impending doom every time I'd think about it and I never really had that sense of excitement. I didn't know whether it was the thought of moving out and you know potentially that could have been part of it um, or the course or just whether I just wasn't like I kind of almost knew in my gut that it I wasn't the right thing for me, it wasn't the right thing for me to do but I wanted to do it anyway because it was something I loved and it was something I was really passionate about and believe me, it is something I still love and I love theatre still and I will still be a huge like theatre geek and whatnot but I don't want it to consume my life anymore, if that makes sense. I do want to say however that this is nothing against the college. I went to the Brighton Academy for a year and I did a whole year of my training there. It's such an amazing place to train, it's so personal, the principals know you and everyone knows each other and it's such a family environment of a place to train and the training is honestly really incredible. I mentioned it on my channel a few times that I struggle a lot with my anxiety and depression. Anxiety predominantly and this year has been one of the hardest years that I've had with it. I started taking medication, recently I've returned back to therapy and it has been a really really hard year. I'm going to try and not get emotional. My panic attacks got worse. I just really really struggled. Within my first term it started getting progressively worse. I started to have regular panic attacks. I'd be feeling really really anxious. I was taking Rescue Remedy and I've been using Rescue Remedy for years um, and it just wasn't helping anymore. I had a really hard time doing my classes and um, coming into college and although I will say I've only ever missed a day of training um, which is a testament to how determined I am as a person. So within the second half of the first term it got really bad and my panic attacks were getting more frequent. I actually went to the doctors. Um, probably in like October time, um, so right at the beginning and I went to doctors and I kind of went to them and kind of explained what was going on and it's not something that 
is new to me, it's something that I've had for a while but it's got increasingly worse and I wanted to get help. The doctor I spoke to said that, you know, you've moved home, you're readjusting to uni, like, it's not, it's not an issue yet basically, kind of thing, like, you know, wait a few months and then if it's still not getting better then come back, but that was a real knockback for me, it just kind of didn't make me feel validated in how I was feeling. Um, and I knew that it was something that needed help because it's been something that's been there for a while. Then I went back to the doctors again after things got really worse. I was having a lot of breakdowns and um, panic attacks and everything like that. I'd be on the phone to my dad and it got to a really bad point where my depression got really bad. I felt like if I couldn't do theatre, I didn't want to be around anymore. And that was really, really hard for me to say to my dad and to kind of acknowledge that's how I felt. Um, so my dad kind of said, go back to the doctors, and I did, and the doctor that I saw was absolutely incredible, and he listened to me, he had made me feel validated, and he helped me get on some medication, and within that time we were able to sort the dosage out. So kind of that kind of overlapped over Christmas into the new year, and over Christmas, I really, really struggled. Um, I went through a time, I was fully in a position where I was like, I don't want to go back to college. I don't want to put myself through that anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to let this affect me in this way anymore. I just want to be free from feeling the way I feel because it was coming from a place where my triggers were all in college, everything was in college, uh, teachers and classes and was so difficult for me to do stuff and I was given extra tablets and everything like that and I would take them but it still didn't, it helped but it didn't really take away from it. I spoke to my sister and she said go back um, and you know you've just done the first term, just give it some more time and kind of see how it goes which is what I did, because I don't like to give up without a fight, <laughs> I like to just try as hard as I can. Um, got a bit better, and then I got a bit worse. I just was at a position where I was really, really struggling, coping with everything. Um, it was taking a toll on everything in my life, and that was a time when I got really invested in my church and the amazing students ministry at my church. If you can hear background noise, some I think some people are doing work outside my house and that was in February time and that made the world a difference. At my college there wasn't really many Christians who were kind of as open as I was about it and I really struggled without having that connection with people. All of my friends from church had a Christian union at their universities, so they had so many people who they knew who were Christians, and that was really hard for me because I didn't have that, and it's hard for people to kind of understand when you're not in that position. It's really hard to explain, I don't want to talk about it too much, but people don't always get how some things can upset you. I would be so invested in church, I'd go on Sundays and I'd go on Tuesday nights. That was genuinely my saving grace throughout first year, as well as like my incredible support that I had, my support system with like my friends and family and everything. It was getting really really bad again. I was having lots of panic attacks. Although I had some support at college from some of the teachers and everything like that, I also struggled. I don't really Feel like everyone kind of understood kind of how necessarily to react and help. I think the environment in college wasn't helping at all. It's intense, it's exhausting, it's everything that it is and I just never felt like I could catch a breath, never felt like I could catch a break from everything. It just really like weighed me down and it really burdened me and I had several times throughout the year where I was fully like, I don't want to do this anymore, I don't want to put myself through this anymore, I don't want to do this as a career, I'm not happy, I'm not doing well mentally and I want to do better, you know, I want to 
be in a better place for myself. Like I said, I did have one day of college and I had a really bad panic attack the day before um, and I was just a real emotional mess and just was not feeling well and my mum and my dad encouraged me to just take a mental health day, which I did, and over that coming week after that, I was really, really um, considering all my options and considering leaving but I was like no I'm gonna throw myself back into my training full on and give it all I've got which I did and I did have a good couple months after that and leading up to lockdown it was you know I was doing really well um however just before lockdown I mean I probably say like March because a couple weeks ago it was four months from that date so basically I haven't had a panic attack for over four months now from the day I don't have the actual date but I had a really 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 bad panic attack at college in March and it was really embarrassing um, because it happened in front of my friends and I don't like having panic attacks in front of people I have to get out of the environment that it was in but I was kind of stuck in it and it really left me in a lot of um, like heightened anxiety and shock and kind of trauma in a way afterwards. I'm not going to go into the circumstances of it because it is personal and everything like that but it did leave me emotionally kind of affected really badly from what caused it and everything like that and I was just a complete wreck um, for the few days after that. And then Miss Rona hit. I came home to do my training. So I came home and I really threw myself into the virtual training. I was doing really, really well. I really enjoyed all the classes from home. I adjusted really well to doing my training from home. I stopped having panic attacks. I stopped feeling anxious. I had a couple moments where I felt anxious, but I didn't need to take any of my extra tablets um, that I was given to help me with my anxiety and to like prevent panic attacks. Started counselling properly again um, which was really great to have someone to talk to and have someone to support me in that way um, and I just have really thrived the last few months. I've felt so much more confident in myself um, which was something that I really struggled with throughout the whole of first year. Um, not just in like my abilities but like in who I am as a person I kind of found my worth in myself again and I just was in a position where I just felt really happy with myself and I was enjoying everything and I started to get a bit concerned um, when I was kind of talking to people about it. A lot of my friends would be like, oh I just can't wait to get back in the studio. I can't wait to be back training again and be back at college and for me that feeling wasn't there. I wasn't looking forward to it. I was kind of really dreading it and really scared at the thought of going back and continuing my training. I've been so excited to get back to Brighton, to living in Brighton, to my life in Brighton but the training and the uni aspect of it I wasn't really excited for um, and I kind of was really anxious about going back and I was kind of like what does this mean and I had a proper think. My faith has gotten so much stronger being at home because I've had a lot of time to be able to read my bible and listen to the word like listen to preachers and do my devotionals and pray and have that time, connection time with God, which is something that's really important to me. Um, and I've been kind of praying and thinking and discussing with people kind of my situation. I kind of got to a point where I was reflecting and I kind of decided that I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with what I was doing, I wasn't happy with where I was at in life and I realised that I think from spending time with God and everything like that, it's hard to explain to people who aren't Christians but I just kind of realised that I'm worth 
so much more than what I was feeling. I am worth more than I think I am. And that I have so much potential in life in so many different areas and giftings. And not just in theatre, not just in performing. I identified it so much as who I was that I kind of neglected the other areas that I am really skilled at and um, kind of focused that so much and was really degrading myself, really beating myself up. I was worth so much more than how I was treating myself and how I was letting myself be treated and I just was just like no, like I don't want to go through this anymore and I hit a wall and was like I don't want to go through this anymore and also I decided I just kind of decided that I didn't want to pursue this anymore although it's something that I love and I still love it and I will forever love it um I don't think I will ever not enjoy going to see a show but I don't want to do it anymore I want to kind of take it back to it being a hobby and something that I really really enjoy as opposed to something that brings stress, anxiety and depression and just makes my life so hard. I want to just, you know, be in a different position with it I guess, like have a different relationship with it. Um, it has become something that has been really toxic for me and it is, I've noticed that for the last few years. I've noticed that I have kind of fallen out of love with it in a way and I really struggled to understand whether it was something to do with like my mental health and whether it was, you know, I'm not feeling like myself right now, so, you know, and that is who I am as a person, like, you know, that's who I am and I need to get back to being myself. However, from this time out of it, like being at home in lockdown and just from this year in general, I've kind of realised that it's, I don't need to go back to my old self, I need to just go to the person that I'm becoming. I think that is a kind of feeling that people feel when they struggle with mental health is, you know, I need to get back to who I was before I was struggling, but with me it's kind of, I've kind of had that epiphany and realisation of I need to just I just want to get to where I'm, you know, the person that I'm becoming in this situation and as a result of everything. Um, and that person isn't someone who is in this kind of thing. As I've been really thinking about it a lot over the last month or so, um, praying about it, talking to my friends and family, I have decided that the best thing for me to do is to take myself out of the situation and leave training um, with my head held high of course because I am not a failure I am if anything I have succeeded because I've shown that I can do it I can do a year of it but I don't want to do it anymore and I don't want to put myself through it anymore which I think 100% is totally fine I think it's completely okay that's why I was really nervous to film this video because even just telling people I was really nervous to tell people my friends and family like that I've told have been incredibly supportive and understanding and have just kind of been like, you know, whatever you want to do is what's best for you, we'll support you and whatever and we're happy for you with whatever you want to do. And that is obviously a feeling of relief because it's like, okay, I feel good, I can breathe now, you know. Um, and, you know, when I started thinking about it, like leaving, the prospect of leaving, my mum was like, why don't you kind of have a look at other options of things you'd want to do? And something that I've been a passionate person about for a long time, and I've kind of, I've always had as my backup plan, which was always to work with children in some capacity or some form. I was really interested in play therapy and drama therapy prior to, like when I was doing my A-levels and stuff, it was always something that I thought would be really really great for me to do. I researched into some courses in Brighton because I have my house for next year which I need to stay in and I have such an amazing life in Brighton that I absolutely love 
and I wanted to kind of figure out if there was another option for me study-wise. You know, I could go and do a part-time job for a year, do a gap year and then go back and find somewhere I'd like to study or I could stay in Brighton and study which is kind of what I wanted to do. And I found a course at Sussex University which I am going to be doing which I'm so excited about. I'm not going to talk too much about it in this video because I feel like this video is going to be really long already. Um, but it is something that I'm so excited about and I want to do a different video where I talk about it because when I truly say that this is such a God-given situation, gift, miracle, um, kind of rolled into one, I literally say it. People always don't understand that but I would like to do a whole video talking about it because it genuinely, genuinely is. I do feel like it's something that I've been called to do for a long time um, over my life. It's always something I've been passionate about and called, felt like I was called to do. And I've got this incredible opportunity to pursue it, which I'm going to be doing, which is scary. It was scary to kind of make the change. I've taken a complete leap of faith and I'm really, really excited about it. I... It's really strange because when I compare it to how I was feeling about going into drama school last year, I do not have a sense of like impending doom about it. I feel so genuinely excited and free and I don't feel trapped. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what else to say in this video. Um, obviously along with that my channel is having a complete rebrand which is something that I kind of wanted to do anyway. So excited about my future, I feel really optimistic, I feel... Really excited to get back to Brighton and start something new, start a new adventure. There's going to be a lot of different videos um, coming up. Please don't unsubscribe if you're here for the theatre content. Um, please stay around, but if not, I completely understand because, you know, if it's not what you're interested in, it's not what you're interested in. But I will be still doing loads of uni-related videos and stuff. I do want to say thank you to everybody who's been really amazing and supportive within this decision. Um, it's terrifying. And it's terrifying to say it. Like, when I realised I'd have to tell people the decision, I was really scared. But then when I realised I'd have to kind of address it on here, because obviously I do film videos and it is something that's a big part of my life, um, that was scary because I was like, oh, I have to tell the world, basically. Thank you for watching this video if you made it to the end. Love you guys. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next videos, which are really fun and exciting so get subscribed if you're not and yeah I'll speak to you guys very soon bye guys I am hungry